Good morning, good morning. I don't know about you, but I'm really enjoying this study on grace and reading the Bible and combing scriptures for examples of when God used people to exhibit his grace and how some people allowed God to and some people were resistant. We're looking at another person who was resistant to God extending grace to other persons. And this is the book of Jonah. Please, please, please read it for yourself. We're just going to look at a little portion from verse chapter 4 verses 1 to verse 4 but it displeased Jonah exceedingly and he became angry so he prayed to the Lord and said ah Lord was not this what I said when I was still in my country therefore I fled previously to Tarshish for I know that you are a gracious and merciful God, slow to anger and abundant in loving kindness, one who relents from doing harm. Therefore now, O Lord, please take my life from me, for it is better for me to die than live. Then the Lord said, Is it right for you to be angry? Read the book of Jonah. Jonah was sent as a messenger to Nineveh. Nineveh was living a reckless, ungodly life, an offensive life to God. And God sent Jonah to warn them, to talk to them so they can turn away. And Jonah refused to go. And he went on a ship, they had a storm, and he ended up over, overboard. They threw him out, and he ended up in the belly of the whale. Long story short, eventually he would have gone over to Nineveh. But this is Jonah's cry. He's like, Lord, I know you're gracious and merciful. It's like Jonah knew that if he went and warned them and they turned and they repented that God will forgive them. But he didn't want God to forgive them or show them any kind of grace or mercy because of how they were living. He was judging them. He wanted God to condemn them. He wanted God to wipe them out from the earth. He did not want God to show grace. And this is what I'm talking about. Now, this is an extreme scenario, but how many times Times in our lives do we judge people cut them off um, not forgive them we are withholding the opportunity for God to show grace to individual just like how Jonah was trying to do and God is asking him do you have the right to be angry if you continue to read the story, you'll see what God did. God caused a plant to grow to give him shade, and then he caused the worms to eat the plant to disappear. He had no more shade. And God came back to him. He said, well, you had no part in planting the plant, but you benefited from it, and then you were upset when it went away. Grace does not belong to us. It belongs to God. So we should never ever put ourselves in a position to withhold grace from someone or to be not used by God in order for God to show that person grace. This is how God shows grace. He uses it in our relationships. He commissions us to do the work that he had already predestined for us to do and he gives us grace. But he also works through us to demonstrate grace to other people. We are not to withhold or become a blockage for God's grace um, for other people. But instead, as a child of God, we are supposed to be instrumental, play our part and allow God's grace to flow through us to other persons so that they too can make that decision under the divine influence of our Father. They can make that decision to confess Jesus as Lord and to live a holy life. God bless you.